Hello guys, hello. All right. Today I shall be explaining COP and cooling load calculations. All right. So I will be starting with the TS diagram. All right, so first I will be drawing the TS diagram for an ID vapor compression cycle. Now this is point one, point two, point three, point four. At this point is the highest temperature, while at this point is the lowest temperature. Now the refrigerant moves or flows through this cycle all right now at point one the refrigerant is a vapor so the entropy is is gas and also at point two it is still a gas so the entropy is a gas but at point three the refrigerant becomes of a liquid so H F and at point four it becomes a liquid. Now if you remember the refrigerant from point three to point four is reduced from an high temperature to a low temperature. Now, from this TS diagram, we can derive formulas for the compressor power, which is at this point. At this point is the compressor power, which is the work next. At this point is the heat absorb. QL Y at, at this point is the it rejected QH. All right, now we can state the formulas for each of these phase on the TS diagram. Now, starting with point one to two. At that point, you have what you call the, the compressor power. The symbol is work net, and the formula is work net is equal to mass flow rate times H2, H2. As you can see, the H2 is a gas, so H2G minus H1G. The H1 is also a gas. So very soon, you will know why we have to specify the states of the refrigerant. Okay, that is for the compressor power. All right. And also, please note that at the compressor, the entropy is constant. The entropy is constant at the compressor. Okay. Now we can find the the heat rejected in the com in the condenser, which is at the condenser. Now. 
the heat rejected is QH equal to the mass flow rate times entropy 2 which is a gas minus entropy 3 which is a fluid all right please note that these formulas we are derived from steady flow equation which you must have done in thermal class all right okay now let's derive the formula at the evaporator now sorry at the evaporator as you can see from the diagram the heat is being absorbed into the system and the formula is giving us QL equal to mass flow rate times H1 gas minus H4 fluid. All right. Now, this formula was also derived from steady flow equation from your thermal class. All right. Now, at the metering device from point three to four there is no work done so at the throttle or i call it the metering device there is no work done at the metering device all right, and there is no it's rejected or absorbed. At the metering device, the H entropy at point three, which is a fluid, is equal to the entropy at point four, which is also a fluid. All right, so with these. Um, formulas we can solve questions on COP and other ID vapor compression questions now let's find the COP now what is the COP for a refrigerator is equal to the cooling effect over the work net if you remember from our previous formula the cooling effect is at the evaporator which is mass flow rate times h1 gaseous minus H4 fluid so this this is the cooling effect so the cooling effect is the mass flow rate times H1 gaseous minus H4 fluid divided by work net which is mass flow rate times H2 gaseous minus H1 gaseous all right as you can see the mass flow rate cancels out so we are left with 
COP for a refrigerator is equal to H1G minus H4 fluid all over H2 gaseous minus H1 gaseous. Alright, so this is the formula for finding the coefficient of a refrigerator. Now, sometimes you might be asked to find the COP for a heat pump. Now, the COP for heat pump is equal to the eating load divided by the work net now from our previous equations the eating load is at the condenser this is the eating load so it, it is mass flow rate times H2 gaseous minus H3 fluid so eating load is mass flow rate times H2 gaseous minus H2 fluid divided by the work net which is mass flow rate times H2 gaseous minus H1 gaseous so guys, this is the formula for finding the COP of each load. Alright? So with these formulas, we can solve questions as regards to finding the compressor power, finding the uh, cooling load, finding the heating load. With this formula, we are good. Alright? So before I end this uh, video, I'll show us some, some very, very important convection that we must know. Now to convert from bar to mega pascal we multiply by 0 0.1 all right then that's one two to convert from kilopascal to to bar we multiply by zero point zero one. All right. So with these, we can always convert between bars. All right. Also, sometimes you might be giving some questions and you are asked to convert kilojoules per minute to kilojoules per seconds we we convert from kilojoules per minute to kilojoules per seconds by multiplying by 1 over 60 all right guys also sometimes you might be asked to convert from kilojoules per minute to tons 
this is done by multiplying by 1 over 211 all right now this is very very important because your eating loads and your cooling loads are all measured in tons or in kilowatts so as you can see here the work net the it's rejected the it's absorbed they are all measured in tons or in kilowatts all right so that is why it is very very important to learn these conversion all right also it is very important to learn how to convert between kilopascal to bars from bars to megapascal because on our steam table our pressure is in mega pascal as you can see as you can see here this is our steam table and from the table you can see that our pressure is in mega pascal all right now you can see why i have to state the state of the of the refrigerant as you can see the refrigerants can either be a fluid or it can be gaseous so it is very very important to know the state of the refrigerants and also to know which of these values to use so that was why i I showed the equations using the various states of the refrigerants. All right. So in my next video, I'll be looking at a question from the lecture notes. So please, if you have any question with this video, any, any comments, please leave your comments in the comment box below or you can send me a message on edmodel thank you very much